Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a remember when card. So this is a fun little card that you can put together whether or not you're um, a sketchy type of person or someone who likes to list things out um, just to remember the good old days or it doesn't even have to be the good old days. It could just be um, little things that you and your friend um, have shared together. And so I am going to share with you two ways to do this. So what I did first was I put down a watercolor wash um, and this is going to be the title, our little remember. And these are going to be the items that we're going to sketch out. And then on this side, it'll be listing out the same items. So what I did first was I just brainstormed a few things that I wanted to draw that would be fairly simple and quick. <laughs> and um, so I brainstormed those and figured out how many squares I needed. And then I just used a heavier cardstock here um, in my sketchbook. And at the end of the um, tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show this to you, but to make this actual card, what I'll do is I'll cut out each of these pieces probably should close my pen before I do that. <laughs> I'm going to cut out each of these pieces and then um, cut them with a, um, a more like exacto knife. So they're really exact. And then I will attach them to a plain card, either with glue or with um, double stick tape. So that's how the card will end up. But this is the majority of what you'll need to know. So what you're going to do is take again, cardstock, lay down some color. You don't even have to mix the colors. Um, let them completely dry and then we'll get started. So let's do this. So first on this side, I'm going to do kind of a hand lettered style for remember. And I guess I should say that you could um, write in really light pencil before you um, put down the ink, but I'm going to be brave and put down ink <laughs> without having any guidelines. So hopefully this will work out. So let's do this. I'm just doing kind of a loose kind of hand lettering type of thing. And I like it to look like it's kind of calligraphy, kind of a calligraphy style. So how I do that is um, on the downstrokes, I just do this faux calligraphy thing. So on a side note, what I'm using is a Uniball Signo, which is, um, it's a waterproof pen that has a really fine tip. And it's really, really nice. I love this pen. <laughs> That's always nice to know when you're trying to um, copy someone's work. It's always nice to know. Well, not copy, but if you're trying to do this for yourself and you don't know what type of pen I'm using, that's it can be kind of frustrating. I found that with some other pens, if they're not waterproof, um, you have to be really careful with them. They they can smear easy easier. And with this one, I actually could have drawn all of my little illustrations and then put a wash over them, and it would have been pretty fine. It doesn't smear that much. <laughs> It doesn't smear at all, sorry, because <laughs> it's waterproof. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to talk and draw, apparently. So hopefully I can do this. So my faux calligraphy is kind of just darkening the downstrokes. So how you can learn how to darken the downstrokes is you can... Go online and look up a calligraphy alphabet and look at the images and you'll notice which strokes are thicker and then you can just uh, manually thicken them with your pen, which is really, really fun. So what I'm going to do is start my illustrations. There's my little waves and I'm going to actually put some words in this one as well. So beach walks, I'm a huge fan of chocolate cake. It's like pretty much the best thing ever. Put some frosting on it. 
think I'll give this card to my husband because he gets all of this stuff. Mm. These memories don't have to be really anything deep um, or super profound. It could be, you know, you just drawing little stick figures of that time you went to Disneyland, you know, it's which would be a fun idea, actually. My sister and I used to spend quality time there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it doesn't have to be anything... really deep. It could just be kind of fun little whimsical memories that you've had with this person. And of course, it's got to be a coffee picture. Because coffee's amazing. And it goes with chocolate cake. Coffee! Yay! And the last one will be a bookstore because we love books in our family and we especially love used books so we're we like to go to used bookstores and to the library that's our, our other favorite spot a little i'll put a little bookmark in there so as you can see this is super simple um i think i'll add a couple more waves to make that be a little more well maybe I don't like that but whatever <laughs> so it's just super simple you don't have to go all out and spend um, a long time laboring over these drawings so that's the little um, illustrations for something that's more of a listing thing if you really think oh there's no way I can't do that um, then you can do something like this. And again, you don't have to necessarily hand letter these, um, the word remember or whatever word you want to use. You could take um, a brush pen or a Sharpie and just write the word remember in your own handwriting. So it doesn't have to be fancy. I just like writing my letters like this for some reason. It's just, it's really fun. Let's see if I can spell this word correctly while I talk. <laughs> this is kind of funny, doing a video and learning how I kind of zone out when I draw. So, <laughs> okay. So in this one, again, I'm just going to write the word. So, beach walks. We lived in L.A. for a while, so... We got to walk on the beach a lot. Lots and lots of coffee. Draw a little person here since there's space. And I just told you I wouldn't draw on this side and here I'm drawing hearts and people so you don't have to do that I just obviously have an addiction to drawing so <laughs> anyway back to writing words mm, chocolate cake Should I put bookstore or books? I'll put going to the bookstore. Going to the bookstore. So there you go. It's super simple. Um, a quick little card that actually looks really nice. So this is something you can do for um, a card. You also could do it in a larger size and have it be something that you frame and give as a gift because this would be really cool. 
or you could buy um, a blank moleskin or some sort of journal that's completely blank, like a craft cover, and do this on the cover. That would be really, really cool too. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and have a wonderful day.